Good morning all. I am Poonam Swapnil Zadav, working as Assistant Professor in Department of Computer Engineering, AISSMS, IOIT, Pune. Today we are going to see the empathy phase, which is the first step in the design thinking process, which comes under the subject design thinking under SYB Tech syllabus. Empathize. Empathy is the ability to understand the feelings, thoughts of another person in a given situation. Empathy is important step in the design thinking process. Empathize is the first stage of design thinking process. The design teams conduct the research to get personal graphs of user needs. They observe, consult users to get the insight into the user's world. In this way, they understand the user's experience, motivations and problems. Empathizing with your user help in creating the successful products. Yes, it is very true. How you can do this is by ask many questions. You cannot make the assumptions about the user's need. You need to ask your users directly about what their needs are. Asking the questions starting with like what, how, why are important to get a deeper understanding of your user's perspective. Pay more attention. Focus on the entire user, not just the words they use. In interviews where the user is physically present or recorded on a video, Observing a user interacting with you or your product can provide physical clues that can inform your research findings. Make notes of it. Be an active listener. Active listening requires you to fully focus on what the user is interacting with and saying to you. Remember it properly. Do not get distracted by where the conversation is going or what you might say next. Next, request for input. It's important that the feedback you receive is objective and unbiased. Friends, colleagues often give biased feedback, usually positive because they support or they want to please you. That's why it's important to ask for feedback from variety of sources and user groups. When asking for feedback, Use open-ended questions to understand the user's real thoughts and experience or th about the product. Be open-minded. Your goal is to understand the user, not to complicate the feedback with your own opinions and emotions. You need to stay updated by doing the research. Research is constantly changing and evolving as we learn more and more about human psychology. Staying updated will give you an advantage when it comes to how you understand and interact with your users. Steps in Empathize Identifying user and understanding their needs. Designers must first identify their target customers, those who want, who stand to Benefit from the design to understand the user needs is to simply ask them. Conducting in-depth interviews allows the designer to better understand the user needs, desires and pain points. Second, observing the user behavior in context. Understanding the user behavior in its nature, natural environment is key to designing a successful product or service. Through the direct observation, designers can understand how users use the product and uncover their needs, pain points and even unintended uses. Designers can ethnographic research methods like contextual inquiry, diary studies, user interviews and usability testing. Third step, using storytelling to connect with users. Storytelling is a powerful tool that helps us connect with users on a deeper level. 
co-creating stories with users about their life experience is a great way of encouraging users to explore and share their own experiences. Engaging in dialogues with users and collecting feedback. The number one way of getting to know your user is to simply speak with them by asking customers to reflect on the experience and asking probing questions along the way we can deeply understand what the matter to them most. Observational research method like field studies, user interviews. Observational research is a type of research where the researchers observe and record the behavior of people, animal or natural phenomena in their natural environment. In this way, we have studied the first stage that is the first step that is empathy phase of the design thinking process. Thank you.